Priscilla's Hex, The Curse of Donnie. It was a dark and stormy night, the wind howling through the trees as branches crashed against windows. Donnie sat huddled in his humble cabin, shivering in the cold. As a ranger in the woods, he was used to this weather but it always unnerved him. There was something not right about the forest when it was like this. He had heard rumors of witches in these woods that practiced dark magic and sacrificed to appease their dark lord. The thought of it made his skin crawl. Suddenly, the wind died down, and the cabin seemed eerily quiet. Donnie sat up, his senses on high alert as he tried to discern what was happening. There was a chill in the air, and he noticed an acrid smell which made his eyes water and his throat burn. The smell was familiar to him, it reminded him of when they burned leaves in the fall. But this wasn't the time of year for that. He got up from his chair, unsure of what to do next. That was when he saw her. She was standing outside, in the middle of the rain, and he could barely make out her features in the low light. But he could see that she was staring directly at him. He instantly recognized her as Priscilla, who used to live near his cabin until she disappeared, supposedly to live with her lover in the city. Donnie quickly put his coat on and went outside to see her. He was surprised that she would venture out in such horrible weather, and that too, without any proper protection. When he reached outside, he saw she was standing there, drenched and shivering. He invited her inside, and she accepted. As he helped her get situated, he realized that there was something odd about her. She looked different from her last visit. Her hair had gone from light brown to jet black, and she looked like she had aged 10 years. Her eyes looked like they had lost their life and were now empty. Despite this, there was a look of desperation in them that made Donnie feel uneasy. Priscilla told him what had brought her back. She told him about her encounter with the witches, how they had offered her everything she wanted in exchange for a sacrifice. She said they promised her a life full of riches, love, and happiness. She told him about how they had convinced her to offer up her first child, but now that she was with child, she could not go through with it. She begged Donnie to help her, to protect her from the witches. Donnie was horrified. He knew there were rumors of witchcraft in the woods, but this was the first time he had heard of them targeting a specific person. He looked outside, but he saw nothing. Suddenly, he heard a faint whispering that seemed to be all around him. He couldn't make out the words, but it sent shivers down his spine. Priscilla's hand trembled as she handed him a piece of paper. They gave me this spell to protect the child, she said, but I don't know how to do it. Donnie looked at the spell, and his heart raced. It was not a protection spell, but a spell for summoning a demon. Don't do this, Priscilla, he tried to convince her. There has to be another way to get rid of them. She shook her head firmly. There is no other way. You don't know the power they hold. They have eyes everywhere. Once they set their minds on something, they won't stop until they get it. Donnie wanted to help his old friend, but he knew that dabbling in witchcraft was crossing a line he was not willing to cross. He looked at Priscilla and saw the despair in her eyes. He could not let them hurt her, let alone her unborn child. So he begrudgingly agreed to do the spell. Priscilla started to chant the spell as Donnie followed along in a hesitant voice. The room grew colder, and a dim light started shining through the cracks in the wooden walls. Then suddenly, 
the light intensified, and the wind whipped up outside as a deep, guttural voice boomed through the cabin. Who dares summon me? Donnie tried to close his ears as he saw the spell materialize before them. It was a monstrous creature with a human head and a body of a snake. Its eyes glinted dangerously in the dark, causing Donnie to shrink back in terror. He did not believe in demons, but he could feel the evil energy emanating from it. What do you want from me? The demon hissed. We need your protection, Priscilla said as she fell to her knees. The witches are after my child. The demon seemed to consider her words, then it slowly raised its head and focused its eyes on Donnie. You summoned me. Your soul shall be the price for my protection. Donnie's heart stopped, and he could feel something cold and slimy crawling up his legs. He saw no way out of it. The demon always had a catch. He tried to plead with the demon, begged it to spare his life. The demon just laughed in response and pulled Donnie into its embrace. The last thing he saw before darkness consumed him was the demon's evil grin. The next morning, Priscilla was gone, along with the blight of the witches. Donnie's cabin was abandoned, and no one dared to go near it. It was as if the forest had swallowed him whole, leaving only his rumors behind. The forest continued to whisper warnings of witchcraft and demon summoning, and people still went missing every now and then. No one dared to question the validity of such claims. There was something ominous in the forest that left behind nothing but death, a curse that would never be broken. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and tell us what you think in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.